Trini Connection TV, the people's choice for hot topics. I would like to take a stand and thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for further info and updates. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about a man was arrested for bathing in the ocean. So, ladies and gentlemen, this happened maybe a couple days ago. So, this man was bathing in the ocean. And upon bathing in the sea, some police on patrol drive by the beach and they observe the man in the water. So, the police and them flag him down by saying, listen, come to shore. Uh, as soon as he come from the water onto shore, they arrest him and charge him with breaking the law. They say, due to the fact that the COVID-19, you're not supposed to go into the ocean and stuff like that. So, the man told them, listen, the reason for me being in the water is, he said he, he claimed that he and his brother was trying to bail water out of a boat. Upon doing that, his brother came out of the water and went to go get something. And while his brother was gone, he decided, listen, seeing as I'm already in the water, I might as well take a little swim or a little bath. And that's when the police and them observe him in the water and call him to shore and charge him. He went to court and he plead not guilty. And his bail was set at $5,000. This right here, I understand, is a pandemic going on and stuff like that. But I feel like the, the government system, the system, using this as a way to make money too. Hopefully, the reason why they're doing that is because they want to teach people a lesson not to go into the ocean and thing. So the party, maybe that is the reason why they pay bail like that, so that when people see this, maybe it comes like... Like, the, how did I say it? Like, parents, and I'm going to say, make an example out of someone. Like, your parent will make an example out of your brother if all they do something wrong so that they know next time the rest of them ain't go do that. I think this is when the government is making an example out here. You went and you break the law and you're going into the ocean. They say, all right, you thinking you could do what you want, you know, we could teach you a lesson now. You ain't going to do that again. Because the next time you do that, another 5,000. So, but the question is, even though you, you're making an example out of them, where is this money going? Is this money going, the money that you take from this person, is this going back into taking care of the community, taking care of Trinidad and trying to fix certain things in Trinidad so that we can be on a different level? Because if the money is just taken to teach somebody an example, and not used to fix the country what people pocketing this money or what going on here boy and people too listen y'all understand we may not like the laws but sometimes it's cheaper for you to just abide by the rule they say don't go in the ocean stay out the ocean it's not worth it you're going out there and you have to spend and give the system $5,000. That $5,000, you probably could have gone and do something for your children. Go on and do something for your family. Go to your, your kids and them school, books, clothes, accessories, and stuff like that. Don't make the system rob you blind. For simple mistakes. As simple as our people. Simple mistakes is causing people money in this country. When you go and break the law, guess what? Your family has to find lawyer. Lawyer want money to help you. And sometimes the lawyer get the when the lawyer get the money, the lawyer still in win the case and you go to jail and you lose your money. So people like a person said, I was reading a book and he said, when they say crime, they'll pay. A person said, sometimes it's more expensive to live the life as a criminal. Because you got to spend money to buy a weapon. 
spend money so people could be alert and look out for you people to do things for you to protect you and you could have just been a regular law-abiding citizen and live life and, and be a little cheaper for you badness is expensive and you do understand that you pay with your life and you also pay with cash so why waste it people try to obey the laws i know not all the laws in the country make sense some of them is just you feel like they're taking advantage of the the, the, the power they have but at the end of the day what you go do you can't prove nothing to them because guess what the law is the law you break it you pay for it simple as that you break it you pay for it so you could go in the ocean and jump up how much you want but if the police and them catch you the right police catch you and pull you out of there and charge you when you go to court the judge and them give you some high bail and when you when the people pay that guess what you get back your money because guess what you're lost because you have no right being there so people don't waste your family money doing all kind of careless and foolishness still man let me hope and pray that this pandemic and this situation that's going on right now all across the world could come to an end and everybody could go back to a normal life and enjoy themselves simple as that that's the best thing we could do the amount of money we're losing on a day-to-day basis is crazy i know it's hard being in your house and you know nothing to do you're getting bored you want to go back to your old life everybody want to go back to when you never have to worry about this and wear no mask on your face and every single day you have that mask on your face nobody wonder but guess what it's a phase that we have to go through now and we have to stay strong hold on we shall be strong to this man hopefully you don't go back and do that same mistake and people around you learn from that mistake and do go in the ocean and do the same thing simple as that follow the rules and also you understand that the police sometimes they're calling you in they want to be in the ocean because guess what they don't no lifeguards out there so you go on all day at your own risk you're drunk there's nobody helping you so at the same time you have to look and say listen at least i come out of that water and do do that again follow the law if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button be a part of the team and i thank each and every one of y'all that already subscribed to the channel and always support the channel trinity connection tv to the fullest much love to each and every one of y'all thanks thanks for tuning in with trinity connection tv like and subscribe if you're new to the channel smash that subscribe button for further info and updates